Hello, my name is Bart and welcome to P3 Studio. Today we are going to learn about SE Linux. So what is SE Linux? Before moving on to SE Linux, let's just take a look at the default security layer so that you can understand the difference easily. In default security layers, we have users, groups and others with read, write and execute permissions. You can have read, write and execute permission for a user or a group and the others. Now, Let's assume a scenario where a P3 user has a full access to its home directory, can change the access to it, and what if it decides to change the permission with full access to the others and the group as well? Or P3 himself runs some scripts from his home directory. So, with security enhanced Linux, you can specify access control for users. Now, for example, you can stop users from running script from their own home directories. Now, SE Linux. So, SE Linux is a Linux kernel security module that provides a mechanism for supporting access controls, security policies, including United States Department of Defense style mandatory access controls. SE Linux operates on three different modes. Enforcing in this mode as Linux will enforce its policies. Then permissive. In permissive mode, policies won't apply, but still it will be locked if, in case of violation. And then disable. It means as Linux will stay in disabled mode. Now let's check as Linux practically. Uh, we're going to see the as Linux configuration file, its status, and how to enable or disable it. So first of all, let's check the status of the SE Linux. To check that, type get enforce. As you can see that SE Linux right now is enforcing. You can also check by this SE status. It will give you a bit detailed information. Uh, configuration files are stored in etc and SE Linux. So to enable or disable the SE Linux, you can always go to its configuration file. SC Linux config. As you can see, that three modes are displayed here. The first one is enforcing, second one is permissive, and third one is disable. You can change it by simply replacing enforcing with the mode you wanted to apply. For example, if I wanted to go for permissive, I can change enforcing to permissive and then save this file. Remember to reboot after changing, changing the modes of security enhanced Linux. Or either way, you can change it by command line enforce and follow by your mode. Now let's understand how SE Linux works. So, policy is the core of SE Linux, and a policy means set of rules. A policy in SE Linux is consist of users, roles, and domains. Here, a policy defines users' access to the roles and roles' access to domain and domain access to the files. Now, the question is how to manage these policies? Well, actually, you can't read policy module files. The simple way to change settings is through SE Linux booleans. Now, let's understand this practically. All right. So, first of all, we will list the, all the modules that are in the SE Linux. To do that, Type this command. You'll be able to see the booleans that are in the SE Linux. See, you can see them. Okay. Now, to change the boolean settings, we will use this command. SE manage. Then boolean. Then hyphen L. Then less. Now take an example of this FTP home directory. As you can see that the first option allows the FTP demand to access the user's home directories and settings is turned off. See that? Allow FTP to home directory and the settings are turned off. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are going to change the settings of this. So let's first check the particular status of this boolean. Okay. So to do that, type get se bool then the name of the particular boolean home directory see it says it's turned off 
to change this settings type set as a bool ftp underscore home directory to on now let's check the status again see it has been turned on so this is how you can modify the SLinux booleans okay hit like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for watching